Zim. He is known as the Hollywood trainer. He has trained Olympic athletes, professional athletes, and Hollywood actors. He has some certifications in fitness and health. He has studied anatomy, focusing on how the muscles work and how fat is stored. He was able to study the body in motion using MRI technology, and he was discovering that people really weren't using their muscles to their full capacity when they were working out. This is why he wanted to create this fitness program where it was really focused on your cardiovascular activity and your diet to really give you optimum results. Steve created a gym and workout space called A Tighter You in 1988, and this quickly became a very popular gym and was actually awarded the hottest gym in Los Angeles by LA Magazine. It says here on his website that his workout program, A Tighter You Total Body Workout, delivers faster results for all people, regardless of age, gender, or fitness level. The man's really got that stamp of approval right here. I love a good workout challenge, and when I found out about Steve Zim and A Tighter You, I knew that I had to try and review it for you guys. I've heard about Steve and A Tighter You before, but really, I found a couple different videos on YouTube from BuzzFeed, but the one that really got me was from Olivia D'Andrea when she did her video, How I Lost 32 Pounds of Fat and 10 Inches Off My Waist. I was immediately intrigued. I was like, this girl looks phenomenal. It looks like she worked really hard. I watched her videos, and I watched all the videos like in her weight loss, workout, fitness and health series and my jaw dropped. And I saw that she was working with Steve and I figured if she had such amazing results, I can definitely give this a try for a full month. Immediately when you go onto his website, which is atumobile.com, it says get in the best shape of your life training with Steve Zim at home or your gym. So he does have pricing listed as well, which I feel like is important. So there's a 12 month plan, a 30 day plan, and a six month plan. I am going to opt for the 30 day plan. So then it kind of gives you like a little welcome message. It does say multiple times through his website that if you don't have a gym, you should be able to do this program in the comfort of your own home. After I select my plan, I'm immediately brought up to an introductory quiz. So let's get into it. So this is just kind of getting some basic information from me, probably to cater the workout, of course, to um, who I am as an individual. My next part of the quiz is picking a body shape. Triggering. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I think I'm gonna go rectangle because I always joke about my body being shaped like a rectangle, you know? Although my body dysmorphia tells me that I'm an oval, so I don't really know what body shape I am. This is what my customized dashboard looks like and has the workouts that I'm doing today, has the workout plan overall, has my stats on the side, um, gives you rest days and things like that. So here's to the next 30 days. I definitely feel like I started this program out pretty strong. Um, definitely in the beginning, it was about making sure I was doing the right form, the correct technique, I was breathing at the right times. I was selecting the appropriate weights for the exercises that I was doing. And honestly, really just getting the hang of how Steve laid out the website and how to follow the exercises and the appropriate amount of reps and sets. today's workout and honestly there were some moves in there today some different exercises that were really challenging to me and I really like that because whenever I'm doing like exercise workout programs and sometimes it's like the same generic moves I get really bored with it so when there's an exercise or a specific workout that I'm doing that is like really challenging me to the point where my muscles are shaking and I'm like getting really fatigued I really appreciate exercises like that because it, then I know it's really challenging me. As I'm going into week two, I'm noticing that the workouts are challenging. However, I don't feel like death when I'm done with them. And as you can see, I'm sweating, but I'm not bright red, I'm not dripping in sweat. It's like a good pace to work out. And usually after every single exercise, like after maybe every one or two to three exercises, there's some kind of stretch you're doing right after that for that specific muscle group. So I feel like that really helps with delayed onset muscle soreness. It helps you not feel like, total crap the next day, like you don't feel like you're super sore and tight and just uncomfortable, that way you can get into the next workout the next day. Going into my second week, I definitely realized that the importance of this program is truly about slow, controlled, repetitive movements versus going as fast as you can, lifting the heaviest amount of weights possible, and really just focusing on your breathing and recruiting the muscle group that you're using and really just focusing on making that muscle do as much work as possible. So you'll see in a lot of my video clips, I'm focused 
on my breathing. I'm also recruiting the muscle before I go into the motion doing the exercise. Seriously feeling the burn today. Sweating a lot, breathing heavy. These leg days are intense. The arm days I feel like are pretty good. It's the leg days that are really getting me. I'm officially at the halfway point of this challenge and I can't believe time is just flying by. I kind of wanted to give like a halfway point update for you guys to kind of let you know how things have been going and what I'm looking forward to for the second half of the challenge. The workouts themselves have not been bad by any means. I've actually thoroughly enjoyed them. I am a little bit biased. I do prefer strength training to like cardio, but it has been a really enjoyable process so far. Also, the exercises that he gives to you are really different than your just generic exercises. For instance, like you will never be doing just a very basic bicep curl in this program. You're either doing like a fast alternating bicep curl or you're gonna slightly rotate your wrist and go like a certain way and you're working on your breathing. You're just hitting these different muscle groups in different areas that I feel like are so frequently missed. So I really like that he's incorporating these different movements to hit specific areas. I can't wait for the second half of this program because I can definitely feel myself getting stronger and I'm really excited to see where I end up at the end of the 30 days. I had the day off from work and so I decided to run errands you know, stay busy, whatever. Then I came home and sat down, made dinner, was editing a video, got really into the editing the video, you know, threw my hair up. <laughs> and I really haven't moved from the couch since. I haven't looked in a mirror since. And besties, this is what we're working with right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What is this? You know, if I... Join a dating app. I'm gonna use this as one of the photos. It is currently eight o'clock at night and <laughs> I have a workout that I haven't done yet. And I need to go do it and it's late and I shouldn't have waited until late because I prefer to do my workouts in the morning but I just didn't do it this morning. I can't skip today because it's not a rest day. I took my rest day yesterday because I had to work and now it's my day off and I need to go freaking go to the gym. I don't really want to. But I signed up for this 30 day challenge and if Steve Zim was here in the flesh, he would be like, no, you're doing the workout. You're not skipping it. Do some freaking work, don't be lazy. As I mentioned in the start of the video, every single day in your workout program, you have the option to select working out from home or from the gym. So there were a handful of times within my 30 days that I decided I wanted to just work out from home and just not go down to the gym and just do a workout within my room. I feel like the home workouts were just as good as the ones that I did in the gym. Every so often there'd be a piece of equipment or something I didn't have within my home, but I was able to make it work. But either way, I got my heart rate up and I was able to get a sufficient workout in for the day. It's just so fun. I'm just so excited. I only have a couple days left and then I'll be at my 30 days and I'm honestly feeling so good and I'm just really excited that I've come this far and I'm feeling so much stronger and just so much better about myself. The last few days of the month was definitely when I felt the most strong and the most consistent. And I definitely feel like I knew the exercises like the back of my hand and I was feeling super strong. And I just felt very confident with every single exercise that I was doing. I knew my form was good. I knew my breathing was good. I just felt my absolute best by the end of the 30 days. Another thing that was really important to me in the 30 days is when the exercises got hard or I was getting tired or fatigued and I was losing my balance, I just never gave up. I took a breath, waited a second and just gave it another try. The moment you've all been waiting for, the end of the 30 days and 
my review of ATU Mobile and working out with a Hollywood celebrity trainer over the internet, of course. Before I share my results with you, I feel like it's only fair to really explain every little thing that I did on top of doing these workouts. Steve emphasizes on his website that it's so important to do so many other components in tandem with the workouts to get optimum results. So of course, you already know, I brought my notebook. I have it all written down. I'm sharing it with you. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, and probably the most important was that for the entire 30 days, I ate in a calorie deficit. If you don't know, basically a calorie deficit is just eating under your maintenance calories. So your maintenance calories are when you plug all that information into a calculator, your maintenance calories are the amount of calories you need to eat every single day to maintain the weight that you are now. I can link a calculator below if you want to figure out what you have to eat to be in a calorie deficit. So while I was eating in a calorie deficit, I made sure I focused on the quality of the food that I was eating. This means I was eating high fiber foods. I was kind of avoiding more starchy foods. I was eating foods that were less likely to spike my blood sugar way up. So for instance, instead of eating like a pop tart, which might bring my blood sugar way up, you could eat something like blueberries, which still has sugar in it, but it's just not going to spike your blood sugar as high. There were two other things that Steve recommends that you incorporate with the workouts, and that is sleep and cardio. I was really trying to prioritize getting that full eight hours of sleep at night. And then I was also trying to do cardio. Sometimes I would go do Steve's workout. And then while I was at the gym, I would just go on the treadmill after like walk or like lightly jog for 20 or 30 minutes. So just to recap, on top of the customized workout program that Steve had for me on his website, I was eating in a calorie deficit, focusing on the quality of the foods, drinking water, doing cardio and sleeping well. Okay, so let's move on to some pros and cons of ATU Mobile. First of all, Mr. Steve Zim, if you ever see this, um, Best Eats 2021, you can make this an app in the app store. That would make me happy and I would download it, seriously. As of right now, ATU Mobile is only accessible through an internet browser. So that means you go to Google, you type in ATU Mobile and that's where you do the workouts. I would so much prefer if it was an app and I could just have it on my phone. I feel like it'd just be more user-friendly. This is like really petty, small stuff, like as a con, if you will, but just having to go on the internet to do it, like sometimes my phone would get laggy or my internet was weird, you know, my screen would turn off, blah, blah, blah. And like sometimes I'd just like lose the place where I was and have to like scroll to go back to the exercise. Again, really minor stuff. It's not that big of a deal, but we can make it an app. Let's do it. Another thing that I didn't love about the app was it was a little bit difficult to track like your repetition and the sets that you were doing. Again, just less user friendly. Every time I would try to like put it in, I feel like my phone would like lag or freeze or whatever. And I don't particularly think my Wi-Fi and my internet is that bad. Sometimes it would just not work and then it wouldn't carry over and it just got a little bit confusing. So didn't really love that aspect of it if you are someone that actually wanted to track each like set and rep of each exercise. Moving on to pros. Don't worry, there are way more pros than there are cons. And so if that tells you anything, first of all, it's a huge win for this app to offer home or gym exercise workout plans. All you have to do is just tap on the screen. Are you working out from the gym or home today? So your entire day could be catered to wherever you're working out. So that is an incredible feature and I love that. On top of being able to pick if you're working out from home or the gym, every single time you pull up an exercise that's been, you know, designed for you for that day, if it just like wasn't feasible for you, you didn't like it, maybe you didn't have that piece of equipment at the gym or you didn't have, you know, that piece of equipment in your home. Every single exercise that you do that is provided to you has an alternative. So you could swap for a home alternative or a gym alternative. I like that he had the options and I like that he granted the swaps if you needed them. Another really incredible feature and frankly underrated in my opinion was his incredible explanation and video and um, text description of every single exercise. Every single exercise, not just one or two, every single exercise where he was like, this is what you're doing here's a picture of what it looks like, there would be a video where he would have somebody doing the exercise and he would be in the video with that person showing you exactly how to do it, which I think is so underrated for workout apps. There are tons of people that just don't know how to recruit certain muscles, they don't know how to move their body, and they need that explanation, they need that help, and I feel like that is so important. And I actually have a background like in anatomy and kinesiology, and I do physical therapy, like I know how the body works, it's what I do for a living, I help people move their bodies, I help people exercise, literally for a living. So I'm very 
aware of how the body works, how to recruit muscles, how to, you know, isolate muscles, but there are some people that don't. I think that was a phenomenal piece of detail that he put into this app, which I think that makes you feel like you actually have a trainer with you to tell you exactly where to target your muscles, how slowly to go, you know, to come up on a two count, to come down on a three count, whatever it is. That made it feel like you actually had a personal trainer, like literally right alongside of you. So in that sense, I feel like he could have charged way more for the subscription than he did. Which comes my next point, which is cost. I chose the 30 day subscription only because I was filming this video for an entire 30 days just to give you my feedback. And it was only $30, which means a dollar a day for a workout. However, I'm very aware that some people cannot afford the gym or they can't afford a trainer or they can't afford to do an app like this. I'm not saying it's cheap for everybody. I'm just saying that it's relatively inexpensive for everything that you're getting in this app, the quality of it, and just comparing other gyms and what they charge monthly. I mean, just for a comparison, I used to do kickboxing and I would go to a kickboxing gym. I paid $140 a month for a membership and it wasn't even like a private class or anything. The last pro on my list is honestly just Steve Zim and his overall approach and just his authenticity. I feel like especially now with where social media is, it's hard to trust people online, especially fitness people that claim to, you know, work out 12 days a week and their body looks amazing, but really they've gotten under the knife to look that good. He just seems like a legitimate good person that has the best interest for other people and wants to help people get stronger and truly be their best self. There is no part of Steve's program that's like, you have to work out seven days a week, you know, no rest breaks, no cheat days, cardio all the time. That's not the case at all. He has a very well-balanced workout program. You can include your cardio. You can have a cheat meal. Like it is so sustainable and realistic. I had a really great time in the last 30 days. Honestly, I feel like I learned a lot about myself. I feel like I got significantly stronger. And now onto the best part, the results. Oh my gosh. When I tell you I'm so freaking pumped as to what happened to me in a month, I'm not kidding when I say I bought a subscription for another 30 days with Steve. Like I did this for the full month of August. We're like almost halfway-ish through September and I'm still doing this like workout program. So I'm not gonna talk about like specific numbers cause like I'm a little insecure, even though I shouldn't be because numbers are just numbers and they don't define me at all. So for starters, I lost 10 pounds. Yeah. And it shows like my clothes fit better. My pants are a little bit looser. This is like actual body fat going away and building muscle. So then for my other measurements, I lost two and a half inches off my waist. Two and a half in a month, in a freaking month. On top of that, I also lost two inches from my hips. I mean, that's super impressive. Like super impressive, right? For just 30 days for a month, for a month. I don't know how accurate this is gonna be for me because I don't have like the appropriate equipment, but I did like a little online calculator. I tried three of them to see how close in accuracy they were. If this is accurate, I lost 6% body fat in a month. I really went into it thinking like, oh, it's just like another workout challenge. Like when I tell you I've never felt stronger, leaner, like more excited to work out and do fitness stuff, I'm not kidding. I mean, look at this. I have a line, I have a bicep line. My final thoughts are this. If you can't tell by my excitement and the visual changes in my body, yes, I highly recommend this workout program. And of course, on top of the workout program, it had me focus a lot on the other things that help a person be successful in their health and wellness journey, which is eating well, taking care of yourself, prioritizing sleep, and just moving your body more. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you enjoyed this 30 day challenge and review, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.